Welcome back to our instructional video on Microsoft OneNote, the only note-taking application that you will need for the rest of your career as an educator. In the previous video, we covered the basic utilities of the application and how we can apply them toward an interactive lesson with your students. Let's briefly review these. To better understand how we can apply OneNote to the lesson plan, we should first highlight the key skills that we should know. We covered how to create our first notebook and along it the user interface, which will serve as a foundation for any kind of instruction that we may do in the application. To create this content, we discuss the incorporation of digital writing and media, which are useful substitutes to the traditional classroom whiteboard. These are all assisted by tools that will enhance our lessons and make them truly dynamic for any purpose. Now that we are familiar with these skills, I will demonstrate how we can apply OneNote to the creation of a lesson plan. The content of this lesson plan will align with the ITEAA standards for technological literacy, being Standard 17, Benchmark N, which is designed for grades 9 through 12. In this, students will employ communication systems to inform, persuade, entertain, control, manage, and educate. The lesson for today will be to create a review sheet. Review sheets can be applied to many scenarios in the education field, and we can thus utilize one of those features to develop one. After this lesson, students will be able to use Microsoft OneNote to design a visually appealing review sheet, which can contribute to their work ethic and cumulative review of subjects, being especially useful in future college courses where a term exam can have a high impact on the grade. The purpose of this activity is to create a study guide based on learned information. To succeed in a class, students should review daily to be test ready which is exactly what this review sheet will accomplish. Now onto the activity itself, in which we will create a study guide using Microsoft OneNote. We only want to include information from one subject, which can be from any class, subject, or topic, and have content that will be tested on and is crucial to a student's understanding of the field of study. We also want to explain which tools were reused and how they contributed to their learning. Microsoft OneNote has a variety of features in the toolbar, which can help us organize the sheet more efficiently, in addition to making it simple to understand. We also want to ensure that it is neat and visually appealing, because this will help us make sure that we invest our time in learning the content and not waste it by going through a cluttered sheet, because that can be really inconvenient if we want to study. And we finally want to apply the concept of communication and education by sharing the information written on the sheet with a student. This is a big idea when, it, um, when employing technology in education, as we want it to be uh, a medium that will connect us with our students. I have provided a sample submission from a student that would score highly on the benchmark standards. In this trigonometry review sheet, we can see that the student employed tools to create a grid light structure to organize each formula. They made it visually appealing by including a variety of colors to, to color code some of the parts, for instance variables. They used uh, neat digital writing, they managed their space effectively, and most importantly, they made the review sheet simple enough such that we can use it to review and to explain it to another student, thus going back to the standard for communication. In this lesson plan, we saw how we could utilize the application to design a lesson plan that will help us manage an activity in which we can see Microsoft OneNote shine, being an innovative replacement for the traditional notebook or whiteboard. With these features in mind, I'm confident that OneNote will be the one digital notebook they can rely on as an educator.